Hey friends, welcome to part two of my backyard renovation. In this video, I'll be walking you through the steps I took to achieve the outdoor oasis of my dreams. In part one, we saw the privacy fence and patio install. In this video, I'm gonna be taking you through the steps that I went through to just achieve the overall look of the backyard from plantings to lighting to the install of the pergola and this project was a joy for me from beginning to end with a few headaches along the way but overall i am absolutely in love this pergola find was the mother of all scores i found it on facebook marketplace for just 250 dollars unopened with all of its original packaging and sitting in someone's garage since 2017. brand new this pergola retails for right at $1,500. I was able to pay my paver guy to install it for me and couldn't be happier. After the pergola install, I quickly realized there was no escaping the blazing sun. So I ordered a sunshade canopy from Amazon in a size 10 by 12, the same measurements as the pergola. It does a phenomenal job at blocking the sun out and I'm glad I made the purchase. My handyman was supposed to install the sunshade for me, but I'm a bit impatient, so I decided to do it myself. He did, however, show up towards the end and was able to secure the ends of the sunshade to the pergola. So here we are a day or two later, and I'm just gonna do a little bit of work in my flower bed. I have several weeds that need to be pulled out, and I also have a few plants that need to go into the ground. It's supposed to rain over the next couple of days, so this is the perfect time to go ahead and get them planted. I don't know about you, but there's something about the sounds of nature that are just so calming and relaxing. In a world that's so busy and full of chaos, sometimes it's just nice to sit back, be still, and listen to the simple sounds of life. This plant is called Tradescantia palita, otherwise known as Purple Heart or Purple Queen. It's beautiful. It has a rubber-like texture to its leaves and produces beautiful pink heart-shaped blooms. This plant is low maintenance and comes back every year.
This tropical beauty is called the Kingswood Torch. It's an annual that adds beautiful color and a sweet aroma to any garden bed. I purchased some LED solar lights from Amazon. I thought they would add a nice ambiance to my flower bed. They came in a pack of 12. Although I've never been a real fan of solar lights, I read the reviews and after reading so many good reviews and seeing lots of pictures, I just thought I would give them a try. And so they actually turned out pretty well and I'm thinking about ordering some more. I will be sure to leave the description for this item in the link. Um, I'll, I'll be sure to leave the link in the description, excuse me. And if you want to go ahead and purchase some, you can. Um, I have several other items in this video as well that you may want to go to Amazon and check out. And I will leave those in the description box as well. Sidebar, do you guys notice how vibrant and beautiful these purple heart flowers are? Oh my goodness. I only had to plant, I believe, four additional ones this year. The other ones are from the original plantings two years ago and they have grown back beautifully. And now for the fun part, dressing the pergola. I found these solar lights on Amazon and they had thousands of good reviews and so there are ambience pro solar power by bright tech i will leave the link in the description these lights are amazing initially i ordered three boxes and they're 27 feet long i ended up ordering two more sets and so for a total of five sets and i just love them so my handyman is here again to install the lights for me. I also ordered some curtains off of Amazon and I didn't get a chance to film uh, those getting put up. I was just so excited. I was just doing so many things and I didn't, I forgot to record everything. <laughs> so, but I will leave the link in the description. Okay, friends, before we get into the final reveal, I just wanted to show you this eight-piece outdoor dining patio set I scored on Facebook Marketplace for $500. These retail anywhere from about $1,200 to $1,400 brand new. It's in perfect condition and fits perfectly under my pergola. I was also able to score a set of five metal lawn chairs from my local thrift store. These chairs were originally marked $180. I was able to talk them down to $150. These are some heavy-duty chairs. They almost have a vintage feel to them. They just needed some cleanup, a fresh can of spray paint, and they look like new. They turned out absolutely beautiful. My Autumn Joy Sedum decided to bloom early this year. These typically bloom late August, early September. I'm not sure if I cut them back too early or too late, but they're adding beautiful color to the patio. I am so completely thrilled with how this has turned out. I just really am still blown away every time I look at it. It is the most beautiful space that I probably have created. And I have created some beautiful spaces in my home. I completely transformed the inside of my home. But this is, I mean, this just takes it over the top for me because there was no privacy. There was no patio. And now I have a complete outdoor living space and it's beautiful and it looks like it belongs. And so I'm just so happy. I purchased this tabletop fire pit from Lowe's. It adds the most beautiful ambiance to the outdoor dining space. It also puts off a nice amount of heat. If you have a patio table with an umbrella hole in it, this tabletop fire pit will work perfectly for you. Just screw the propane tank up underneath and voila, instant ambiance. It's beautiful to look at and you can never go wrong with an outdoor fire. This fire pit can be adjusted to a high or low setting, whichever you desire. The patio lawn chairs turned out beautifully and pictures do no justice. I was able to find the perfect cushions at Walmart for $20 a piece. They only had four, so I'm still in search of one. The entire scenery of my yard is incredible from the flowers to the lighting. I just love everything about it. And this pergola just sets it off. 
the curtains, the lights, the plants, the fire, everything is just so beautiful to look at. I take advantage of this space every opportunity that I have. I eat breakfast out here, I eat lunch out here, I'll eat dinner out here if it's not too hot. The space is just amazing. I sit outside and do work, I sit outside and have FaceTime calls, I sit outside and just listen to the birds. I just love everything about this space. And from every angle, it's just beautiful. There's not anywhere that you can stand that you won't see something pretty or beautiful back here. And that's what I love about it the most. The one thing that was surprising to me was just how aesthetically pleasing the view is from both sides. From the inside of the house, it's nothing but a show of lights and beautiful plants and just every room you walk into, you're seeing something outside that just catches your eye. From the outside looking in, you also see beautiful ambient lighting. And if you're sitting in the patio area where the umbrella is, you get a full view of the family room where the television is. So you'll be able to have a theater-like experience in the backyard. You won't be able to hear the television, but you will definitely be able to see it. I love the lighting in my yard. I added solar spotlights to the bushes behind the house and they look so good. I'm always amazed at how lighting can completely transform the look of any space. Okay, friends, this brings us to the end of the Backyard Oasis Renovation Makeover Reveal. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. Please click like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.